I'm both an artist and biologist. I wouldn't say that one is my main job and one isn't, but I mean, I have two careers. My educational background is in biology, and that's also where a lot of my inspiration comes from, biology and science for my art. So I kind of ran with this style of like realism with something subtly surreal about it. And then I started thinking, okay, what, like, what are things that I'm interested in that I can mix into my painting? Like what inspires me? And I'm a scientist, so I, my background's in science, my educational background is in biology. Um, and I've always been really interested in marine biology and sea creatures. And I see a lot of parallels between um, you know, the deep ocean and outer space. And I've also been, you know, really interested in astronomy and science fiction and space. And so then I started wanting to make these parallels between deep ocean and outer space. If you look at footage of jellies, for example, in the deep ocean, a lot of times it really looks like they're in space because they're, uh, you know, it's very dark. Um, and there is what's called marine snow, which is basically biological matter that falls down from, um, from higher levels of the ocean, like into the deep ocean. It almost looks like stars because it's kind of these little white dots um, in the really deep black. It always just made me think of space and it, it looks like the jelly is sort of floating in space and their jellies are also very ethereal and very just strange looking. When I'm painting stuff like this, I'm always using um, reference photos to try to make the creatures look realistic. And I mean, I am a biologist, so it, my tendency is to try to make something, you know, biologically accurate. Of course, it's not, you know, to the level of a scientific illustration, but I try to be faithful to the to how the creatures really are. I've always wanted to put them in that uh, sort of context. And then the asteroids for me are just like a, something else in space. Like I love, uh, I think that they can be really interesting visually and really beautiful. I love getting to paint the, the craters and the like the sort of gold deposits and the veins. There are several different species of, of jellyfish like this that I just think are really beautiful because they, you know, they're purple and have lots of really neat colors and then these interesting sort of frilly tentacles and um, they're just so inspiring to me. Like I look at them and I just want to paint them.
I think a lot of the parallels that I like to make between the deep sea and outer space are making people think like, okay, the, these things that seem really different are actually have things in common. So, you know, the deep sea is very mysterious to humans. It's a kind of a frontier of exploration. There's still so much that we don't know about it, just like outer space. And there are creatures in the ocean who are very evolutionarily different than us that we can learn from and use as an example of what an alien intelligence might look like. I'm, I'm so inspired to paint because I have so many ideas that I want to realize. So even if I were to never sell anything, I would still have all these ideas in my head that I want to, you know, put down and make real. I don't know what it is about it, but I, I just love it. I mean, it's, I can get completely in the zone. I mean, when I was painting this mural the first day, I think I painted for like almost nine hours and took a 15 minute break. It's almost like meditating for me. You know, I'm so focused. Um, and I hope it inspires people to learn more about them and learn more about the incredible, you know, biodiversity of the oceans. I mean, I think I, I would like people to think about how much amazing, crazy life there is in the oceans that we don't often think about and creatures that don't often get, you know, to be in art and to be celebrated by humans. Um, I mean, I hope it inspires people to be interested in science because my interest in science and my appreciation of the beauty of science is what serves as really my biggest inspiration. And so I'm hoping that my paintings can kind of bridge the gap and you know, bring people who might not see the beauty of science right off the bat, it can help them come to appreciate it in a way.